I'm Lisa Bortolotti and I'm Professor of Philosophy at the University of Birmingham. In December, the European Research Council awarded to me a consolidator grant for a project aimed at exploring the pragmatic and epistemic role of factually erroneous cognitions and thoughts. So the acronym of the project is PERFECT. As part of the project, we are looking at false beliefs, distorted memories, confabulatory explanations that might take people farther away from the truth, but actually give them some kind of advantage. It could be a practical advantage by increasing their well-being. It could be a capacity to succeed in some activities they are interested in pursuing, or it could be also um, a further opportunity to acquire new beliefs, for instance. So the idea of the project is um, to explore epistemic evaluation of these cognitions, but also offer a framework in which what is called normal and abnormal cognition are actually seen as continuous. And that is uh, giving philosophers an opportunity to challenge the stigma often associated with mental illness, because of course, some of these cognitions, delusional beliefs, confabulations, are also symptoms of psychiatric disorders. Another thing that I really like about the project, and is quite unusual for a philosopher, is the opportunity to build up a team. And I've been extremely lucky um, that uh, two people have joined me already for PERFECT. Emma Sullivan Bisset, who will be looking at beliefs, and Magdalena Antrobas, who will be looking at cognitions in the context of clinical um, disorders. They both have the expertise and the enthusiasm to bring this project forward. In my own first year of the project, I think what I will do is um, to look at those beliefs about the future that we all have and have been classified as unrealistic optimism. When we're thinking about our talents or um, our character traits or our future prospects, for instance, uh, our future health, our financial situations, whether our relationship will be successful, we tend to be excessively optimistic. We tend to ignore the risks that may lie ahead. Um, now, psychologists have initially thought that this is actually quite good for us because um, it may increase our self-confidence and well-being and may even act as a self-fulfilling prophecy. So maybe the fact that I think I will not get cancer, for instance, make me behave in such a way that reduces for me the chances of getting cancer. But um, more recently, there have been doubts on whether unrealistic optimism is really good for people um, because it has been noticed that when the predictions that are made are excessively optimistic, really off the mark, then uh, well-being does not ensue. But there are disadvantages both at pragmatic and epistemic level. And it's quite interesting to see how that is the case because it invites us to reconsider the old relationship between pragmatic and epistemic benefits. And I hope that the project will help us understand the mechanism behind it.